Hi guys, it's Oz here again. Uh, this video is, is going to be quite short and it's a, a reply to a video put up by Lloyd uh, Lindy Beige uh, on, on quarter stuff. Now the first thing to say, Lloyd, Lindy Beige, I, firstly I don't know what to call you, um, I'm going to call you Lindy Beige because that's the name of your channel, I hope that's alright. Um, I'm a big fan, I've watched your videos for a long time and you're one of the people that's inspired me to get involved on YouTube and start making my own videos, so firstly thank you very much for that. Um, your video on the quarter stuff, I think, I think you missed a couple of, of fairly important points. Um, and the first is when you, you say it's just a stick and that whilst the English seem to be quite attached to it, they don't really have any right to be. And I think that, that you've, you've really missed the point of the, the whole thing there in that, yes, of course, it's just a stick. Um, but in the same way that a sword is just a bit of metal or, or a gun is just a clever tube or a longbow is just a, a bent stick with a bit of string. Um, and it's not the stick itself that makes English quarterstaff so typical and so, so, so English in its very nature. It's the way it's used. And that's the whole thing about martial arts, is it's not just the weapon itself. You don't have to just go out and buy a stick and suddenly become a quarterstaff fighter. You actually have to learn how to use it. And that's what makes the English quarterstaff such a ferociously successful weapon. That's why Richard Peake can defeat so many Spaniards with rapiers. Um, it's not just because it's a bloke with a stick, it's because it's an Englishman with a quarterstaff and he's trained how to use it in a way that was very, very typical of English combat at that point. So, to say it's just a stick is really to ignore the whole, whole background of English martial arts. And I know you, you, you train yourself and I know you get this. Um, and I think, I wonder maybe if you were being a little bit deliberately provocative. But either way, I'll bite. Um, I disagree with you. It's not just a stick, at least not in the hands of somebody who knows how to use it. The other thing is you mentioned a couple of theories for wh why a quarterstaff is called a quarterstaff. And, and I agree with you, those are both possible options. Obviously we don't know for certain why it is, but I think you've missed one out. Um, if you look at the, the early English um, source materials, the manuscripts, so Ledl, uh, Harleian, Cotton Titus, these, these early, early manuscripts that describe how to fight with uh, mainly a two-handed sword, but Cotton Titus has a small, small section on the staff. Um, one of the techniques that keeps coming up is a quarter. And I think that perhaps, and it's only a perhaps, I don't know for certain, just as you don't know, I'm sure um, there are lots of people out there who think they know the answer, um, but without proof there's no way of knowing. But I think possibly the name of the weapon could be related to the techniques that that weapon was particularly suited to. One of the problems, of course, is that we don't know exactly what the technique is. We don't know what a hawk is, we don't know what a quarter is, we don't know what a round or a double round is. For certain, there are a number of theories out there. Some, some are very, very believable, some are less so. Um, but perhaps the name of the quarter staff was that it was a staff for quartering. Um, so anyway, thanks for the videos. Um, I, I, I hope you keep making them, I really do. I, I love following your stuff and um, hopefully um, some of this will make sense and you'll agree with me. Anyway, take care. Thanks very much indeed. Bye-bye.